Um, today I was given an assignment in school that questioned my faith and told me that I that God was not real. Dear God, why didn't you save the school children at Moses Lake, Washington, Bethel, Alaska, Pearl, Mississippi, West Paducah, Kentucky, Stamp, Arkansas, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, Fayetteville, Tennessee, Springfield, Oregon, Richmond, Virginia, Littleton, Colorado, Tabor, Alberta, Canada, Conyers, Georgia, Deming, New Mexico, Fort Gibson, Oklahoma, Santee, California, El Cajon, California, Blacksburg, Virginia. Sincerely, Concerned Student. Reply, Dear Concerned Student, I am not allowed in schools. Sincerely, God. Tradition is pretty much non-existent anymore. I mean, it's, it's totally different times. And a community outraged after their school system banned a long-standing tradition. Over prayer no longer being allowed over the loudspeaker at football stadiums. One person's complaint shouldn't change the tradition that we've had in this community for 50 or plus years. One principal isn't letting students sing Lee Greenwood's God Bless the USA at a kindergarten graduation. She says the lyrics are too grown up. A Dearborn Heights, Michigan mother is incensed after several incidents she says occurred at her children's school, Highview Elementary. As reported by WJBK Fox 2, Jessica Cross claims that a teacher told her eight-year-old autistic son, Jason, that the Bible he chose to read during free time should no longer be brought to class. He says only for ch church, not school. Ms. Cross has numerous other concerns with the school's practices. Putting my son in timeouts for 13 hours a week and refusing him lunch and just absurd things that, I mean, if I did something like that, I'd be, I'd lose my kids. It shook me so bad because I never imagined that God could be taken out of our community. Over the loudspeaker and was offended. Sad, it's depressing, you know, to think my kids are going to grow up not being able to have the freedom of speech or freedom of choice like we're supposed to have. How did this get started? I think it started when Madeline Murray O'Hare complained she didn't want any prayer in our schools. And we said, okay. Then someone said you better not read the Bible in school. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, and love your neighbors yourself. And we said, okay. Dr. Benjamin Spock said we shouldn't spank our children when they misbehave because their personalities would be warped and we might damage their self-esteem. And we said, an expert should know what he's talking about, so we won't spank them anymore. Then someone said, teachers and principals better not discipline our children when they misbehave. And the school administrator said, no faculty member in this school better touch a student when they misbehave because we don't want any bad publicity and we surely don't want to be sued and we accepted their reasoning. Then someone said, let's let our daughters have abortions if they want, and they won't even have to tell their parents. And we said, that's a grand idea. Then some wise school board member said, since boys will be boys and they're going to do it anyway, let's give our sons all the condoms they want so they can have all the fun they desire, and we won't have to tell their parents they got them at school. And we said, that's another great idea. Then some of our top elected officials said, it doesn't matter what we do in private as long as we do our jobs. And we said, it doesn't matter what anybody, including the president, does in private as long as we have jobs and the economy is good. And someone else took that appreciation a step further and published pictures of nude children and then stepped further by making them available on the internet. And we said, everyone's entitled to free speech. And the entertainment industry said, let's make TV shows and movies that promote profanity, violence, and illicit sex. And let's record music that encourages rape, drugs, murder, suicide, and satanic themes. And we said, it's just entertainment, and it has no adverse effect, and nobody takes it seriously anyway. So go right ahead. Now we're asking ourselves why our children have no conscience, why they don't know right from wrong and why it doesn't bother them to kill strangers, classmates, or even themselves. Undoubtedly, if we thought about it long and hard enough, we could figure it out. Surely it has a great deal to do with we reap what we sow. We have too much going on in this world today. 
not to have some kind of prayer going on anywhere.